Hello friends, welcome to this investment banking tutorial from Wall Street Mojo. Thank you very much for completing this program on investment banking overview. We hope that you uh, enjoyed this program as much as we did while we created this, keeping in mind that uh, probably the audience is very new to this uh, field of investment banking. So we started with an assumption that you may not know anything about it and uh, that's why we detailed uh, between the differences of what is an investment bank like Goldman Sachs versus say a um, commercial bank, uh, maybe Barclays. So uh, we understood that and with that assumption, we actually went forward and looked at uh, what is research. And uh, while we were talking about research, we learned that uh, research is all about uh, doing fundamental analysis. It's about, you know, uh, recommending clients about which stocks to buy, which stocks to sell and doing financial modeling. And uh, while you are talking to the clients, you know, the clients may uh, get convinced with your ideas of buy or sell recommendations. So uh, clients may want to trade and that's why uh, that's how, you know, uh, the trading commissions can come through the sales and trading department. So we learned all these aspects of uh, research and uh, we also understood what is a buy side and what is a sell side. We noted that uh, buy side is someone who is actually an analyst, maybe uh, sitting in the asset management company, you know, there he is or she is investing on her behalf of uh, the clients. On the other side, a sell side is a guy who is working in a research department of an investment bank. So he's selling an idea to uh, AMCs or the institutional investors. So that's what we uh, kind of understood when we talked about, uh, you know, buy side and sell side. Later, we moved on to the sales and trading division and uh, we noted here that the research department and the sales and trading department, both of them work in tandem. and. Um, on one side, research actually sell their ideas. Once the ideas are sold to the client, the client may want to execute these trades. And these trades are executed through the sales and trading division within an investment bank for which the investment banks may charge commissions. Another aspect of, you know, uh, investment bank was uh, helping companies raise capital. And we, we saw that, you know, IPOs and FPOs are one way in which uh, the companies can raise capital through equity dilution and uh, this equity dilution leads to uh, dilution towards the public and uh, you know there could be another thing called private placements where uh, the companies may want to dilute their stake but only to a limited number of strategic investors so uh, you know uh, that's where private placements was discussed and uh, it becomes a very important activity within the investment bank we also understood what is underwriting and uh, market making Underwriting actually was uh, something like uh, the risk uh, of undersubscription and uh, investment banks actually mitigate this risk by guaranteeing that there will be no undersubscription. So for this they charge a higher advisory fees. And uh, what we also learned about uh, market making was that uh, uh, you know market making is investment banking taking actually positions of buy and sell so that uh, the market actually behaves in an efficient fashion. So we learned all these things when we talked about underwriting and market making. We also noted that uh, important activity of investment bank is with respect to helping companies identify the potential targets as well as you know uh, uh, identifying companies who can sell their own stakes. So m and activities actually form a very important activity of the investment bank and uh, while they uh, kind of pitch to the clients, they also prepare a presentation. So uh, th that's called as a pitch book. So we also learned how pitch book can be really important and handy tool for investment banks, bankers in fact. And uh, you know, in two, three minutes of time, you may be able to at least give a snapshot of what is a potential to your clients. So a very important activity. And uh, lastly, we also saw that uh, there was um, restructuring and reorganizations where uh, there would be companies who are uh, difficult stages of uh, its own business and uh, are maybe facing different uh, situations, cash crunch or, you know, uh, issues related to restructuring. So investment banks actually help companies in two ways. One, they can help in reorganizing their own structure, strategy, changing of CEOs, etc. But what they also do is kind of restructure the debt part or, you know, um, selling of assets so as to, you know, reduce the debt. So all these activities are taken care of when we talk about restructuring and reorganizations. So overall, what we learned is that investment bank is a very in interesting field altogether and it works in a very integrated way. It's a highly um, 
important job and if you want to make a career in this you have to be pretty serious and uh, uh, maybe open to spending 14 to 18 hours a day at least for the initial three four years so all the very best and uh, we hope that you have a successful career in investment banking and uh, we also wish that uh, if you have liked this course then uh, if you want you want to learn more about uh, research or let's say ipos mnas or financial modeling you may want to have a look at other set of courses which we offer thank you so much and uh, have a nice day